Hey people, it's Swamp here, and welcome to episode 37, I believe, of Dragon Rampa 2. Last time we found out that it was indeed a boogie who was hung in the music room, and that Hiyoko is also dead. Yay! I mean, she now will, will be joining my hero in hell, so yeah, she can have a tea party with Taka. Okay, so anyways, let's see what Gundam noticed. I see, you noticed it too, dude. Huh, noticed. So you did this. <laughs> The, all those eyes, just a little glass balls. Take a good look at the bright baton lighting above your head. Have you not noticed that apparent item? Looking, look at the light baton lighting. You mean that? There's something that looks like a black paper stuck to the baton lighting. <laughs> Do you finally notice? But I can't really see it from there. I should lower the baton lighting one more time and- I can see it! <laughs> There's no need! Save the destruction! Huh? Come to me! Go, my four dark devas of destruction! <laughs> I still can't get over that. Go, Mirage, go, Hawk, Jumpy! Now is the time for you to take flight! <laughs> is your eyes upon the brave souls of my four dark devas of destruction! A hamster launched itself from Gundam's hand and ran up the baton lighting to the, on the ceiling at Flash. It started running around the stuck. He slip a paper in the rabbit circle, and then the paper flowed downwards and was definitely caught by Gundam. <laughs> <laughs> Do you see that? Behold the power of the ultimate evil wide wide wielder. Wow. Oh, what is wrong with you? Wow, that is amazing! I've never seen a hamster do tricks! How pitiful. They're my four dark evils of destruction. Hamsters are merely the temporary four. <laughs> so what's that paper? <laughs> Fine. It seems to be some kind of thick paper, though it does not have any special spells to rival the arms. That was close. It appears it's nothing useful. Which means it's all the more useful. No, that's not it. There's no doubt, this is some kind of clue. I mean, the fact that this is stuck in a place like that, no matter how we think about it, it's too unnatural. Just grab a thick paper. What else can, can we investigate? Oh, the post, the AC. Someone turns up the temperature. 86 degrees. This looks like the music menu is AC unit. That's right. You may be able to adjust the hot air in the music menu with this. Alright, I should mess around with this a little, like so. It's running like a heater over 86 degrees Fahrenheit? Now I know why it's so damn hot. I better turn off the heater for now. That should cool things off a little. AC temperature. Okay! Sea Typhoon. Let's talk to. Let's talk to the Kumiro, let's talk to Sonya. Something like this! What's once again? Two of my church friends died at the same time. I cannot believe it. Oh, cruel. This is the place where Abuki sang for Fuyo Hiko. Yoko looked... Yoko looked like she was having so much fun listening to her music. Uh, and now those two are no longer here. Oh, such a tragedy. I understand how you feel, but please get a hold of yourself. Two of our friends were killed. That's all the more reason why we can't just leave this alone, right? So just well, as I thought. Well, let's do this then. For the sake of the two who have fallen. We got any comments? Oh, I know you might have been Don't be too hard on yourself, Mikan. You you could you did all you could. You were taking care of people. Hey, when did you realize that Boogie was missing? I'm well, after leaving a year from I went to the on call room and that's when they came to me. I should go check on how we went in the hospital so like one more time before I go to sleep. And so I went to the patient's room and thought that Boogie was gone. So I ran out of the hospital. So that's what happened. So that's what happened? <laughs> And then, I saw Blakey go over to the hospital to play after he could help me look for Blakey. Uh, oh, I was so amazing. Where were you? I thought you were missing in the lobby. That's, that's a long story. <laughs> I'm sorry. So, like, I doubt you were anything. Uh, uh, we've been together since this morning. You're right. We were together until you went to the one call room. We <laughs> got to just a little before morning. The morning when I come at nonsense. So, so, I don't doubt you. I told the truth. Um, I'm sorry if I sometimes run the voices, I just don't see the box change at times. Um, no, I put the key with my autopsy. If you, if you talk to me again later, I'll, I'll tell you I know. So please spare my life at least. What happened to not doubting me? Because of kind of the added. Okay. We talked to Gun. I think... We'll talk to Fuyuhiko. I don't think we have to talk to Gundam. Damn right! Hey, Hajime, take a look at this. What? Huh? Well, what the fuck is Is this a drumstick, right? And it looks like it's broken. So, so it's used to bar the door shut. What happened to it? Like... It's something, it's something like that is in front of the door. 
You think it might be a really big clue? Why would this be a clue? Hey! Remember what we came to the music for you? If it won't open, the only thing we can do is fall our way through! Hmm, I wonder if that's going to be also of the four of us, two of us are girls, you know. It doesn't matter if you can do it or not. We have to try! Let's go, we'll charge at the same time. Ready, set, go! If we hit the signal, we charge into the door full force. The door was locked when we tried to go inside, and the four of us charged into the door. <laughs> but, well, I damn it, I found out that this door doesn't have a lock at all. Huh? I get it. The door is designed to be pushed open, and this is the ship with the handle. If a stick was used to bar the door here... Huh. Well, don't you think it would lock the door and keep it from opening? You mean, if this was... If you think this drumstick was used to lock the door? Huh. The broken drumstick on the floor in front of the door would be proof of that. Then, how is the door over the air? Huh? I mean, the music you doesn't even have windows. This door's the only entrance. If they locked the door from the inside, the killer wouldn't have been able to escape right. outside. Maybe the killer was still time when we broke down the door to the music venue. And then they walked until we were all at the time to join us. That would make sense. I get it. You know, don't they use tricks like that a lot in mystery dogs and stuff? You're right! I mean, or in Dying Rock was one case, the Fumi locked the door, <laughs> unlocked the door. If that's the case, there might be evidence of that around here somewhere. Damn it. Alright, I'm definitely gonna find it. I won't let the killer get away with this. The killer was inside when we broke from the door to the music venue, then. Okay, that definitely clears out Mikan, then in which case that puts Chiaki as the main suspect. Like, like you said, that might be possible. I've listened to the I whole story. you two were discussing. Chiaki, that was. I had a cool entrance. Well? Besides the broken trusses, I've also discovered something interesting. What is it? See? Look, there's a weird quad where the right and left door stops, see? You're right, what is this? It looks too firm to think it's yep. rubber. Yep. Yep, it doesn't look like rubber, but. As she said, Chiaki went down, stripped up the semi transparent glob with her finger. Don't eat it! Ew! You're... Unless, of course, you want to kill me, you know what it is! What are you putting in your mouth? Mm. Is it jello? Ah, it smells like workshop cooks. Then, no, why are you putting it in your mouth? Workshop? And this chewiness. You see, this thing may be a glob now. That's to me, it was a glob from the start. Right? It was originally a liquid that hardened into this. It might be possible to apply directly and smooth in the gas of the door. But what are you talking about? <laughs> Just like that, it tastes nasty. Jackie's about to glob out of her mouth and left the area. Besides that bit about the taste, it's okay to consider this is some kind of clue, right? Semi-chain turn glob. Akane! You would be too big, tall to pose as... You're too tall to pose as... As... Eh. It's a bookie in that photo. Hey, are you okay? Are you still not feeling well? In which case, Chiaki, I don't know. Chiaki may have planned this. I don't know. My two main suspects are Chiaki and Mikan. I don't want to believe that it's Mikan. I mean, really. Mikan's just too pure. She's too soft. Unless she contracted from the Monokuma, the, the despair disease. But I don't even know if that's a real disease. Monokuma just waved it off. It, Huh? Yeah, I don't really get it, but when I think about Nekomaru, it's like my knees start shaking. That's weird. That's weird. There's no way I got that kind of weakness. So I'll probably go away if I battle a strong dude, but Nekomaru's not here. Nekomaru will, de Nekomaru will definitely come back. You, you're right. Yagito! Hajime. Hajime, this might be imputed to me to ask, but will you listen to what I have to say? I am very reluctant to. Hey. I heard that you witnessed the incident from the very beginning, right? So what? <laughs> Can you provide me with a summary of the incident? I need I need to reach the truth beyond this incident for the sake of the, of dedicating my bodies to an even greater hope. No. Wow. Why? Don't make me repeat myself. No. This guy wants to because there's no way I'm going to tell him what he wants to know. Oh my gosh! He thinks that Hajime did it. How unfortunate. Actually, that's disappointing. He thinks Hajime did it, and he wants to basically take a plan. <laughs> <laughs> ah, do you direct your gaze, the brave statue of my full dark demon of destruction? Let's go into the storage room. The door is the staff only. Looks like the inside of the storage room. Might as well go investigate there too. Well, we were in there when we were doing a Buki's free time event. Let's see if anything changed. Well, these... These stickers were here, and so were the shelves, but they were outside as well. The last stickers with the manual of the pack here. It's like they weighed a bunch of them and had too many left over. It feels somewhat depressing. 
crap, compared to last time, it seems like there are less stickers than before. Am I overthinking this? <laughs> this carving wallpaper and a pan on the shelf. It's probably used for stage decorations. Huh? This thick black paper that's folded up on the lower step. It looks like wallpaper. There are a lot of stickers plastered all over the front side of this wallpaper. And this edge of wallpaper. It looks like a little torn, but what does this mean? Maybe the killer covered up Yoko's body with the with the paper. Is there a Monokuma here now? Camera mirror. You can see your whole body in this huge flooring here. It's probably used for checking costumes. With a mirror this big, it'd be easy to check out you look. Nagio, did you come here to investigate the storefront too? <laughs> I just wanted to confirm that what you were thinking. Is that it, or is he trying to stand guard here? Hey. So how about, you find any clues? You took door step ladder on the stage, the deck find me finding Kyoko. That probably all came from the storage room. There might be other things from the storage room that they use for the crime. You always pretend to give me hints, but in the end, you're just going to be on the killer side, right? <laughs> uh, I'm not talking with the killer, you know. I'm just on the side whoever asks in the name of hope. That's all there is to it. But... That's the main reason why this case is really special. Huh? Man. But I can't say for certain, though. What is this guy saying? As usual, he's not making any sense. Hajime. But by the way, Hajime, I still don't quite understand the details of what happened. Right? Hey, if you can explain to me in detail, I think I might be able to give you some more useful information. Really, you might end up confusing us again instead. You don't want to find the truth, you just want to make us suffer. Oh, me. That's not true. I'm doing this because I believe it's for everyone's sake. Oh, well. For the sake of everyone's hope, I gladly become an enemy, and I won't even mind why I die. <laughs> That's the main reason I, I can't overlook this case this time. Huh? What's this mean? Regardless, I guess you're not going to tell me, huh? Then it can't be helped. I guess I'll just rely on my gut feelings. Gut feelings. Hey. You should come by later, too. I'll go here there first and wait for you. Where exactly are you talking about? <laughs> well, obviously the movie theater. After uh, Nagito walked down my side. Oh, my throat is really killing me. Movie theater. Why? That's not interested in the movie theater. That makes me wonder. Is everyone who has this illness, did they watch Monokuma's movie? And because we know that Nagito saw the movie, perhaps the sickness is some state of induced hypnosis. Monokuma basically put subliminal messaging to basically make everyone uh, go sick. But one thing is, I want to check out Ibuki's hospital room. Because, really. It can't, because there has to be something. I, I still need to talk to Mikai. I need to make sure I get those autopsies from her. Okay, let's talk to Mikai. Actually, I just feel like there's like a ball of mucus in my throat. How about Mikai? Have you got anything out by now? <laughs> Because of the heat, it's not possible. If the bias is worth the cold, we'll be able to determine our precise cause of death. It's true, in the Ace Attorney series, it's cold has often not been used to obfuscate time of death, granted slowing it down. However, he, by that logic, heating up a body would make it appear that it died, that it was killed sooner than before it was. I see, that might have been the killer's goal. They covered up the time of death by using the heater to make the inside of the music venue hot. But that's weird. Even if the tea is the killer, is there any reason for them to cover up the time of death? I, I agree. As long as I saw it, it should be clear what orders the murder occurred. Exactly. That's why. They're trying to obscure it. They're trying to do the Dragon Rapa, old Dragon Rapa 1. Dragon Rapa 1 thought they could fool me? Oh, no, no. I learned. We thought that Fumi was killed first, and then Taka? No, no, no. It was the other way around. This is just... Just replace that here with just... And that noose with a ju with basically some fake blood and justice and a bunch of justice hammers, and we have that case. First was a Buki, then Hiyoko. And as long as this is an imitation murder, there should be a mistake in the words of murders. Huh? Imitation murders? Huh? Well, you don't know, Hajime, but they were already new. See? It's a murder where the killer uses a creative work like a song or film as an outline for their killing. It's a common detective with mangas and video games that you start to get annoyed by it. How would an imitation murder be related to this murder? <laughs> well, based on the killer and the way that they were killed, it's clearly an imitation of that movie. Wait, that movie? Good instinct. The assumption is, an imitation murder is the reason why the killer killed two people. Mm. 
The goal is an imitation killer. Yes, so why do they feel the need to do something like that? Do you have a minute? Excuse me, is this really an imitation of that movie? It's possible that more than one person might have been killed. This too it certainly must be the will of the, the killer out. wishes to complete the imitation. Oh, hold on a second. What are you all talking about? An imitation murder. One of the other per one more person might have been killed. <laughs> are you guys worried that this gonna be another victim? Then no worries. Things would go a hand too fast if a bunch of people could kill at once. I'm a real cautious doll, so I prepared a perfect countermeasure. Mm. Ahem, once this on this killing school trip, the same block can only kill a maximum of two people. Huh? You mean you only added another rule? Yep. Yep. Well, when the killing at uh, uh, once again, the block will be able to secure an easy victory, right? Yeah. This is the rule of this time. Make sure you slap into your tiny brain. Um. If that's a maximum of two people, then there will be no more killings. Um. Since you're here anyways, can I ask you to do one more thing? You know? I just want from one of the class on roller. Mm. I see, I see. As expected of you, you're very strict about games. Perhaps. I don't want to do this pass way off. Now you want to think someone would do this. If two kids are at once, what happens if there are two killers? Huh? Eh? So... <clears throat> oh, I'm sorry. Like I said, I'm talking about the possibility that if we can heal, but we'll kill by two different people. That means that two killers exist at the same time, but we can only vote for one person, right? I am concerned. If we can only choose based on the on majority vote, the other person could uh, certainly achieve security. Yep. Yeah, you're right. See? So what happens in that case? In that case where there's these three incidents instead of two, or four still overlap at once. Silence! Shut up! It's okay, I'll make extra sure like that never happens. Hey. I mean, two killers can't exist at the same time. So say that that applies to this case too, right? Wow. Alright, fine, fine, that's right, there's only one kill at any given time. If they hadn't accomplished, I'd figure out who the mastermind is. Man, I ended up getting your huge She made me say it. Damn it, brains are not to be underestimated. I should have just shut up and gone back to my cave. So, there's no possibility for two girls to exist at the same time. With this, I guess that narrows things down a little. Yep. Yep, that makes things a little easier. Fine. Look, if the same killer can kill a maximum of two people, Stay it means a third victim would be possible. Imitation murder breakthrough! You guys keep saying that, and it sounds strange to me. What do you guys mean, like, imitation? Um, how could it be? I haven't seen it. We got the very expensive button. Seen it, seriously, seen it what? So... Like I said, that movie. Oh my! The first person who's going to come up with passing out imitation tickets. Then the imitation is... Good of course, it's a meditation of that movie. Well? Well, based on the murders at this time, it closely resembles that movie. As if they were copying it. As if they copied the movie. I see, Nagino mentioned something about that. <laughs> then it can't be helped. I guess I'll rely on my gut feeling. Gut feeling. You should come by later too. I'll go there first and wait for you. Now, why are you exactly going to talk about? Well, obviously the movie for you. You... I see. So you haven't seen it. Still, it's not too late, I think. It's probably a good idea if you watch that movie before the class trial starts. Looks like I need to go do that. Um, and I should go get going too. There are other places I want to investigate. I want to um, investigate Ibuki's room. Why don't you want to go investigate next, Chucky? Hmm. Probably the hospital for sure. Well, we're thinking alike. The first system, Ibuki was there. I don't know what was going on about. Well, in the first place. You are right. Thanks to the spirit disease, we could not go there for some time. She's right. It might be good for me to investigate the hospital too. There might be some clues related to Ibuki's death. For clues related to Hyoku's death, I should try going over to the motel. There's still a lot of things I can do before the class trial. I'll definitely get it all until the, until the end. Okay, leave here. Let's go to the hospital. But one thing, after this video, I'm getting a beverage. I feel like there's just this big ball of mucus in my throat. You tell me I didn't go in the music venue. Okay, good. Okay, let's check to see how the pet's doing. Now, I more than a few does. It's 158. Okay. Let's go to the hospital. It's right here. And then we'll go to the motel. And then we'll go to the movie theater. Kazuichi, you find anything out? Hey, you prepared that surveillance camera here, right? Hey, hey! Yeah, so, I didn't make any weird modification or anything. It's not like I'm suspicious or anything. Based on your little bone fish, you're all the more suspicious, Kazuichi. Plus your little stocking thing, just having your plan that coincidentally, big air quotes, run to the girls. Did you get this from that shady looking alley with all those machines all lined up? Right! Yeah, I just tweaked it a little. Then, if there's another surveillance camera unit, would it be possible to transmit signals to the hospital from those cameras too? Man. No, that's impossible. Originally, surveillance cameras and surveillance monitors are only used as part of the same unit. 
The video that was filmed with the Hanzo camera can only be viewed by the Hanzo monitor. The, the video that was filmed with the music me menu camera can only be seen on the music menu monitor. Hey. But if I left it like that, we wouldn't have been able to compete, so I decided to swap the cameras. So that's how you guys were able to view the hospital footage from the music menu and vice versa. And each of Bill's camera you manage its own its project based on a specific number. So if you bring the same model camera or monitor, you won't be able to interfere with the signal. Meaning even if I notice the camera exists, it'd be impossible to broadcast with it. Huh? However, I didn't just swap the cameras. I modified them and increased the wireless range. I had I had if I hadn't done that, we wouldn't be able to use it. You're right. You did work on that. Nice to know. I should investigate the lobby first. Okay. Our monitor, our surveillance camera. This is surveillance camera unit on half of the reception desk. As long as the music menu surveillance camera unit is destroyed, it's impossible to broadcast with this. Hajime. Hey Hajime, there's something I wanted to ask you. You first dis you first discovered the Buki's body at the music menu, right? But why did you go to the music menu? You had a reason for that, right? Did you see something with this camera? That's right! Oh, I also wanted to ask you that. It'd be different if the surveillance camera unit could be recorded, but it's only good for password functions. Hey, hey! Tell me, Hashime. Yeah, that's exactly it. I saw a strange video in that surveillance camera unit. It showed the music venue stage. There was a black curtain hanging like it is now. But the old display was pretty dark because they were using a candlelight. There was a rope hanging from the ceiling, and beneath that, there was a step ladder on the floor. And right away... A person wearing a hospital gown and a hemp bag on their head appeared. I didn't know who it was because their face was covered, but now I know it must have been a Buki. We can't really see the hair. We can't really be sure if that was a Buki. Those could be her shoes, though. I walked straight on to, to the step. She walked straight to the step ladder without any hesitation. She climbed the step ladder of her own free will and then grabbed that rope and. That's all I saw. The candlelight being used must have snuffed out something or because. The screen went dark all of a sudden. It wasn't displaying anything anymore. Man. Well, if the candlelight goes out, obviously nothing will show up. Modern surveillance cameras have infrared functions, so things can still somehow show up even in the dark. But the one I got from the machine now, it was really, it was really old model. Huh, hold on. Well? At the time you, at the time, you said you didn't know the person wearing the handbag was a bookie, right? Yeah. Hmm. You didn't know it was her, but you saw her try to hang herself. So you wish it was the music and you tried to stop her. But I didn't make it in time. Hey. Still, if she climbed the cell on her own, does that mean she committed suicide? Wouldn't that mean she's her own killer? If Buki committed suicide, what do you think, Chiaki? Hmm. There's no doubt if Buki climbed the step on her own, right? Yeah, there's no doubt. If so, hmm. Hmm. You. Hey, don't fingers on. If you don't know, just be honest about it. Well, of course she doesn't. There's no way we'd be able to figure it out so easily. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, yeah. I need to go investigate the country on the second floor. Hmm. I may go there. <laughs> what the heck? She went away all of a sudden. She said the conference, but why would she mention that all of a sudden? Also, I might be overthinking this, but did she seem a little upset? Surveillance camera monitor video. Let's go. I want to investigate Buki's room before this episode ends. Akane, you got anything to say? Now then. Phew, I'm finally back to my normal self. Right. Hajime, help me out with my recovery. You can touch my boobs if you want. No thank you, I think Hajime's got enough breast for today. She was bearable when she was quiet. It'd be so much better if she was still feeling the after effects. She beat me up if I said that out loud. Anyways, why are you here? Hey, hey! Well, I've never been sick or hurt before, so I had no idea, but <laughs> hospital gowns are pretty comfy. I think I might as well keep wearing one. Don't tell me you plan to wear hospital gowns from now on. Hmm. That's the idea, but it looks like they're out of stock. It looks like there was one guy for each patient's room. So I thought there'd be more in the empty rooms. There weren't any gowns? Yo! Yep, that's right! If Boogie's di died wearing one, so the only one left was the one Nagito was wearing. <laughs> if I had no choice, I should just use Nagito. It's a unisex size, so I'll probably be able to fit him. Hold on, what happened to the gown you were wearing? <laughs> Are you saying I should be I should wear the one I already wore? That's gross! Wrinkles cool someone else is wearing is even grosser. Like now time to dilly die. I don't let me come back to the music venue. Crap, I gotta go back soon. Well, it's okay since I was already leaving the venue. But so even though it's unisex, I I think that it's still safe to assume that none of the guys did, because really Let's just check. Let me just check one more time. I know this seems a little off. I know this seems a little thing, but I just want to make sure. If Buki was five feet three, right? So in terms of guys, Gundam five feet nine. He's even taller. Kazuichi's five feet six. He's my height. Yes, that's nice to know. Where he go? He's he's a little small for that. And I don't think he even did it. 
So really, in terms of the statistics we have now, the only guys who could have done it really couldn't. And I don't think Hajime did it, no. So, okay. Dude, I find these skills? I don't know. Okay, yeah, yeah. Just want to make sure. Okay, let's go investigate the room where Buki was in. A Buki was in room one, right? Looks like this is another room. There shouldn't be anyone inside. I should go look somewhere else. Okay, in which case, let's search the second room. Actually, no. Or was it all these rooms right here? I want to investigate all the rooms. Looks like this is a room. Open room. Open room. Second floor, ooh. Well, good now that we have a CAT scanner here. The conference room and the staff room. Let's do what's in the staff room. On call room. Alright, this is the on call room. This is a room for patients. It looks more like an on call room for hospital staff. All this colored medical where it makes it look like a storage room. This is the if this is the only one call room, we're gonna hustle with some tough work. So if a room like this exists, this, that means there needs to be people here, right? Just what the heck's going on with this island? Okay, nothing in here. At least for the moment, I don't know. If it's a room available for us to look at, they could have some use. But then again, Dagger Robber wanted all those classrooms. What's this? It's just black. I can't see anything. Um, where's the switch? Hey, don't turn it on. Huh? Chiaki, are you there? Yes. Did you turn on the light? It's gotta be fully exposed. It'd be embarrassing. W what's fully hey. exposed? Hajime, if you poke at your eyes, you can't turn on the light. W what are you gonna do? Are you gonna poke them out? I'm not gonna poke out my eyes. I'm not gonna poke out my eyes? Aww. Not summer. Troll fan you. No sooner did she finish saying that, I heard the dry sounds of curtains being drawn. There was a flash of intense light that stunned my eyes a little. I swear my eyes until they started adjusting to the light. And I saw Chiaki had finished opening the curtains that was covering the window. Hey, hey. Well, were you surprised? Surprised? I don't get it. Well? I got it. Got what? See? The curtains in the scratch were designed to be completely blocked out light. Hmm. There's a projector here. They will tell you careful about light changing. See? See? A black curtain at, at that black light is also long enough to reach the floor. It's perfect. A black light blocking the curtain. That, why it's so dark? Is something wrong with it? Mm. I'm still in the middle of investing, so it's a secret! Yep, she's upset. But still, what was that all about? That bit about being embarrassed if I look in troll fail. Nope. I just wanted to mess with you. Yep, she's definitely upset. Why is she act so childish? I guess I'm done investing in the hospital. I should move on to a different place, which we will do next time! Anyways, I really appreciate that you stuck around to watch this episode. You are a great viewer. I hope you come back for the next one. If you like the video, like, subscribe, comment, share to wherever you want it. With that, I will see you later. Bye!